Fingers. I have never seen a nun play such an instrument. I learned the tile hub from church. I used it for coin. Turned away from God to a life of sin. The Gleeman, we were called. The finest bards in all London. Our music moved statues to tears, but no more. The Lord demanded I return to the fold. I begged Izane to join me, but she still toils with devil and drink. Music and dice have led her astray. She and that Kine wolf. All my financial woes stem from their greedy shenanigans. You have debts, you mean. Large enough to send you into hiding. How dare you imply that I hide behind my cloth from men who would break my instruments for a mere 50 silver? 50 silver I can cover. For that sum, I want to hear the Gleeman perform together, one last time. Oh, you are temptation-wrapped redemption, stranger. I have missed the dice dearly. Perhaps God has other plans.
this is not the first time I've heard a skull sing through tears. It's my beloved Ostrid. She loves me no more. Thus my quill stays dry. No poetry falling from its once proud beak. Can you only write verse when you're in love? Surely. I've not written a ballad about God since I was a girl. Only love moves my heart. Some of the best verses I've ever heard were thrown in battles of wit and rhyme. Not lovesick growing. Oh. I have never seen such a battle. Please, enlighten me. In our battles for glory and blood, we do sing. And give praise to the High One, for Odin is king. And we beg that the High One will give us his nod. That we someday might dine alongside our war guard. Yes. Yes, I see the bricks of this verse. Fight, knight, brawl, Valhal... Uh, no, no, no. Odin's hall. <laughs> Get me my quill. I should like to hear what music you write. Will you perform it somewhere? If I can get Keener Wolf's bastardly face to help me with this meter. But you will have my thanks in this performance regardless. These men of God, festooned in gold and silver. It is enough to make one blind. We are blind of now. Lanius was our only king. He saw straight and fought alongside Arturius. We have been blind ever since.
Fellow adventurer, need to know the lie of the land? My prices are competitive. All right. Now, show me your map. There is a place here. This place is heavily guarded.
What's happening? the problem. Thank you enough. 
You disagree with the terms of your captivity. If love be a crime, then yes, I do. For I'm only guilty of such a boon. Me, Kina Wolf of the Gleeman. I see. And whose wife did you bet? Oh, the guard captains. And the alewife Luga. And he's an ace muse. But who am I to deny women my company? Hmm? A scoundrel and a poor friend. That may be so, but this scoundrel will play naught but the sweetest music for his freedom. You understand? I, Kine Wolf, have been freed from my bondage and am eternally in your debt. Make good use of your freedom, then. Apologize to your friends and stay out of trouble. Isane, Kit, and Kine Wolf. That is all the Gleeman. Now we'll see if they play the square. material doesn't hold a flame to the intensity of his and his older one. Come one, come all! Friends! Fans! Lovers! You demanded our reunion and thus God has gifted our merry trio with just such an assembly! With fresh poems bestowed on me by a new muse, one with a heart of a warrior, and eyes of frost. And two, three. Dearly friendly you. fighters, yeah, from one and come well. all, may we meet up once more inside Odin's great hall. Tu vila, acne y hace el agua.
Eivor, welcome to the West Market. A lawman like you could set folks on edge in a square like this. Why not wear a cloak? Hide my face? Not a chance. It does the people good to see a lawman on the hunt. And once we've found the arrow, this order needs to know we'll be after the leech and the compass as well. The noise yet about the arrow and recruits. I've heard whispers. Somewhere here, a man gives you a coin. And this coin grants you entry to a contest run by the Arrow's men. Which man? I see too many here. He's good at blending in. I haven't spotted him yet today. I will sniff around. You stay back. Eivor! What was your impression of Erke? You suspect him of something? I don't know. Whoever killed Trigo was a close friend, and... It was Erke who found the body! I know Erke so well, and I can't bear to think he'd do something so vile. But... Then do not. Wait for proof before you condemn your friend. Ah, forgive me. My latest thoughts have been restless. I've been a Reeve for so long. Fighting for God's justice. I shed my earthly attachments for his great plans. But, but you could not shed Erke and his friendship. No. No, I'm not sure I could. It is good to talk. Unburden your soul. Clears the mind and lifts the weight off the chest. Yes, indeed. Thank you for listening. I should find one of these coins soon. Will you be around? I'll return to St. Paul's just down the road. Godspeed, Eivor. Archery contest? Keep off, Boyo. This is my coin, my shot. You want one? You talk to my mate Husa, and he'll point you through. You heard the take for this job is three stubs of silver a month. Is that true? No. And they pay you more if you drag your brothers into it. Husa's earned a fortune skimming the docks of London, bitch. your business? Shooting or watching? You are looking for skilled archers, and now you have found one. This contest is private. Invitation only. Your men are handing out these coins like they were on fire. Is this enough? It's enough to keep us talking. But I'll want to see how well you handle that bow before you go any further. Want a trial round to test your eye? I will shoot a practice round, just to be sure. Go ahead then. They're all set up.
I was dead. You've got quite an eagle eye on you. I've had enough practice. Let us begin. A real fanatic you are. Get ready. It's a simple contest here. Hit all targets true before the sand runs down. Here's the new competitor, a Norse from the northern wilds of Mercia. And our current reigning champion, Sayed! All right, take your mark. Hook set! Arrows not! Fire! Hold in, Spear! Did you see that? Incredible! A perfect strike! A cheat! A cheat! It was a fair shot! Eivor leads to victory! That's deadly aim you have. Best I've seen for some time. Well shot! You have earned your place at the Arrow's side today. He'll be eager to meet you. Hold yourself to the Imperial Arch and speak with our man, Hussa. Recite the phrase. May the Father of Understanding guide us. And he'll know it's you. Are you Husa? Yeah. And who's asking? May the Father of Understanding guide us. And may the Mother of Wisdom give us strength. You're to stand just there, look your best when the arrow comes forth, and keep still. Friends! Brethren! Good people of London! We have had a hard week. Cowardly invaders stole into our governor's home and robbed him of his life. Trigger, my friend, my leader, slaughtered like a dog by outsiders, by the enemy. Do we expect his reeves to guide us? Some arsed halfwits let Trigger die. They think we're safe. But our governor knew. He confided in me his real plans to protect London. The drunken Danes of Northumbria polluting the north. Alfred and his men of Wessex rallying to the south. Of all this, Trigger said, Kavgos, what we need now are strong borders and stronger soldiers. 
Today, I honor that wish. I present to you, good people of London, our new elite archery force. These elite archers will be stationed with our spring arts, ready to attack invaders by land or by water. And further, until these storms of accusations clear, I will take Trigger's place at the head of our fair city. Not that I could replace him, for Trigger was a pillar of steel. But I can try. Let me be your arrow. Let me point a true way forward. Some will be naysayers. Those who wish to discredit me, and those who wish to keep London weak, listen not to them, friends. I serve only London. I serve you. London is a place of prosperity. Prosperity we must export to all of Britain's kingdoms. No more false kings with their lies. Heed the ancient ways, the true strength of London. Rule London! Rule Britain! Rule the world! Into order and truth! Your mind! Hey, what? You then! Keep the boat and eat your feet! Knocked. It's a hard thing to raise the rats of a city into warriors. Hook set! You raised no one. You only trapped them in their cowering fear. Draw strings! First wave fire! No. I gave these men order. I gave them purpose. I showed them their common enemy. Anchor strings! Second wave fire! I was arrow for their rage. Without a foe to consume, we devour ourselves. He speaks true. A man without an enemy defeats himself. Justify all you want. You're just a king killer and a coward. Mighty high horse, you'd do the same if you were me. Aim and fire! Nah, nah. 
You're unharmed. Praise be to God. It will take more than a few lads with newly polished bows to fell me. The arrow was a boy. A man with a boy's brain, called Avgus. Avgus? That can't be right. I could return with his head on a spear, if you would like to see. No. You've no reason to lie. Yet Avgos, my old friend, had no cause to murder. He saw Lunden as a kiln of rage. To harden the softness of its younger men. Perhaps I ignored in him what I hoped not to see. Ambition. Greed. Anger. From one man such hatred is easy to spot. But from many, it is a fog that fills the room. Power. Men will claw for it, and cling to it at the cost of everything. Very true. And it is cold comfort. But glory has the taste of your family's blood. With Avgo's gone, I will turn my attention to the leech. Erke should be down at the Keys. He'll be waiting for you. If the compass should emerge, we will let you know. Then I'll be at St. Paul's Church, waiting for the good word. Take care, Broga. Nequesape malale complexiones, agus de, totitariat in multis superfrontis memorium, plectus dejectus sit, et multa.